Hi there everybody, Peter of England, wishing you a Merry Christmas. Um, we have had a very, very uh, successful year, those people who've been following the channel and following the videos that have been posted. Um, but now we're coming up to a transit point. The main priority though today is just to thank everybody that supported me, supported the videos, who's purchased our documentation, who has um, uh, embroiled themselves into trying to create what's called creative dissent amongst the world's um, hierarchy, should we say, uh, in a way to make our, our voices heard in a peaceful manner. Uh, but we have to say as a, as, a, as a general statement as to where we are going now, going forward into 2024, um, though 2023 has been quite significant, we've had a progressive totalitarian tiptoe towards tyranny um, from 2019 especially, from November, December 2019 into early 2020. Up to now, we've had a, a what we can say is nothing short of a immense erosion of our freedoms and our rights to speak out and think and uh, act as we see fit. And that, I think, is the major message going into 2024 and why I want to present to you today this uh, declaration of divorce, which is found on the Area52.live site. Um, for those people who don't want to zoom in, I will just bring the, the document a little bit closer to you. In effect, this is what the document is. It's free uh, for our membership. Uh, to download, um, but I would suggest to everyone who hasn't visited the site, um, we're at better working area 52.life. Go to that section, um, go to services. And under there, you will see D-O-V-O-R-C-E, divorce, a divorce document. Um, it's running at the moment to around about eight pages. This is the first page, and this is the second, or sorry, this is the final page, page nine. Um, you can create your own. This is just a general template to give all those people who haven't got the time or the inclination or the the uh, practical insight of putting it together to actually generate it, uh, to have it generated for them. And on the, uh, on the website from uh, early January, we will have a fillable PDF. So you will just have to type in uh, certain details and then you can download the entire document and it will come digitally notarized. It's a very important point for 2024 as we go forward because um, you, you are going to see um, uh, instances where you are going to have to be required to have permissions to do everything. And mainly, that's going to be in the region of, uh, of travel. Um, we have fingerprinting now at major airports, uh, major uh, seaports. We have uh, facial rec recognition, visas for tourists are coming in, uh, but also vi vi visas for people who want to travel over to Europe from the United Kingdom from mid-2024. That's going to be required, and it's probably going to be linked with some type of credit score to ensure that only those people who satisfy the, the government's um, uh, appreciation of what constitutes a good citizen will be allowed to do certain things. So this, this closing in of the, the fish trap um, as an analogy it is racing away and becoming more apparent. So what is in effect happening is that there is a, there is a stealth creep. And what I'm asking you to do today is to really consider what your options are going to be going forward into 2024. Do not procrastinate. Do not give these tyrants the benefit of the doubt. You really have to do something and begin that procedure now. What I would like to say is 
Um, instead of, of waiting or, or procrastinating, make a commitment uh, similar to the expression here of what's called crossing the Rubicon. Uh, the Rubicon was uh, or is a, a small river uh, on the Adriatic in Italy, and it has a, uh, a very famous, um, should we say, uh, um, um, statement of interest, because this is where Julius Caesar crossed the Rubicon, I think it was around about 49 BC, uh, into Italy proper. So um, to the east was the zone which is known as Gaul, but when he crossed into here, uh, he was crossing into Italy proper, and his imperium, his, his, uh, his entitlement, would not, uh, according to the, the, um, the Roman Senate, he was forbidden to do that with a military um, uh, presence. But he did that, and he went on to take control of, of, of Italy. So crossing the Rubicon is a point of no return. It is making the statement that now the die is cast and you have committed to a source of action. And I would say that's very, very important going forward because um, here we are coming up to um, the end of 2023. This video has been made on, on Christmas Eve, but we've seen already the, the pre-tremors um, that are being alluded to in China and worldwide in, in, in India, where the preparation for the next pandemic, um, whether genuine or not genuine, I'll let you decide that, um, is beginning to make its presence felt, the rumblings. Why I think you need to make this declaration of divorce, which is a statement that you are leaving the system that has ensnared you in its, its predilections and its so-called assumptions and presumptions as to how you have to behave. And what we're trying to do now is distance yourself away from these people who are, are looking to control you even more. Um, you're surrounded on every side and being confused by wars, plagues, financial problems, inflation up, inflation down, um, transgender issues, race issues. You're being absolutely um, rendered unable to go left or right, up or down, or know what's good or bad anymore as far as a societal uh, perspective is concerned. This is being done deliberately. The financial system is bankrupt. The entire organization is going to be imploded because with what's called negative capacitance within a circuit, uh, which is credit, which is not money, there comes a time when it has to end because otherwise the maths take over and the, the interest on these sums, even at minor percentages, which they have to charge, becomes insupportable and that's where we're up to there is a very good chance in 2024 that this ukrainian scenario with the russians is going to creep back in you've got now lord cameron a guy i wouldn't even cross the street to shake his hand uh, no matter what uh, back in power the ex-prime minister in the united kingdom is saying that he's issuing warnings to iran because of its its um its malignant attitude to sponsoring Hezbollah and ISIS, etc., etc. It's all the same party trick. The game show continues. So what we've got to do now is we've got to have a voice. You've got to come and decide one way or the other because a commitment is a commitment and uh, even not committing is a commitment, but we want to ask you now to take a leap of faith and begin to do things that will give you the advantage as we go through 2024 and into 2025. Because be under no doubt here, these people are aiming to control every aspect of your daily life. That's not just my opinion. If we look, for example, at the uh, article by article compilation of the proposed amendments in the international health regulations, this is what the prime WHO document is. Yeah. You will find that a major event is due to occur in 2024. I think it's May the 23rd or 24th at the United Nations headquarters in New York where 
a revised set of documents are going to be submitted to the 193 non-sovereign but pretending uh, to be sovereign nations of the world that compromise the United Nations. These are not sovereign states. They are all under the same hood or all operate under the same blanket as they were brought in in 1944 by the Bretton Woods Agreement. And from that point on, the banking cartel took full control of a global bankruptcy and indebted all these nations, these so-called sovereign nations, into the club. So whether it's Iran, whether it's Russia, China, Japan, Canada, South American countries, None of them are operating independently. They are only operating from orders from above. Okay? Now, I just want to emphasize to you the, the, the danger that everybody is going to be placed in here if you acquiesce. If you do nothing, if you sit back, if you don't take some action by declaring your divorce through action, not just words, because this is important. Everything has a karmic perspective, a karmic reach, and you can't just think you should do it, or you can't sit or kneel at the side of your bed at night and pray that something is going to be happening to you beneficially. You have to really start to take action, because the higher echelons, the higher spiritual hierarchy, um, Christ, Jesus, God itself, will tend to look after those who wish to look after themselves. For those who won't make any action, then you are, in effect, acquiescing, and the vast majority of the populations on the planet are quite happy to go along with the Luciferian, satanic agenda, which is materialism. So, I would suggest this being directed for all those people who see that there must be a better way, there must be an alternative, Go to area52.life and examine the possibilities. If we now refer back to this document here, um, very quickly, uh, we have strike throughs and underline in bold for those people who would suggest, uh, I would suggest go and download the document. Um, lots of what was formerly non-binding recommendations are now termed as advice, and the advice is to be acted upon. It's a very subtle but important point. Article 3 of the previous declaration, for example, said this. The implementation of these regulations shall be with the full respect for the dignity, the human rights, and the fundamental freedoms of persons. Okay, that's been struck through now. I'll show you Article 3. Article 3, full proposed strike-through. So no longer will it be a consideration for the WHO implementing its tyrannical dictatorial um, uh, orders and um, laws upon you. They will not have to abide with any type of respect for the dignity on the human rights and the fundamental freedoms of persons. What they're doing here is the United uh, uh, Universal Declaration of Human Rights is being trashed before your eyes. It's being shredded, it's been put in the mixer, it's just being thrown out as, as sausage meat. And so all of these things that were put together for your protection are no longer going to be there, if they have their way. Um, it continues on about state parties. Um, it goes on to this next one I want to uh, mention to you now. I think if we go then to Article 11, uh, provision, it used to be called a provision of information by WHO. HO, now it's called the exchange of information, but a very important paragraph for wanting to be included now, and this is a suggested proposal, is 11.5, which basically now will have the Director General of the United Nations reporting to the WHO. So now what we have is an anonymous, unelected, private body of individuals based in Geneva, 
dictating to the entire world via United Nations mandates into the 193 countries of the world what you need to do or not do. And if they tell you you're going to be locked down, uh, you're going to be locked down. If they tell you you've got to wear five face uh, masks, then that so be it. A very important uh, uh, part uh, in the initial phases of this, this change of, of action is it used to be that what they were concerned with was things that affected health generally. But now what they are in, interested in putting in is not only a public health risk, but any risks with a potential to impact public health, but also with international traffic and trade. So on the basis that something will affect traffic and trade, what they can do is call um, into operation through its NGOs, non-government organizations in these various countries, things that need to be done to you. Uh, and this is all part of this slow creep, this stealth creep, as they're tightening and tightening and tightening the net towards you. So this is why I think with this type of document, which we're going to make sure is digitally notarized, and then for those people who want an original copy, we will be able to provide an original copy by mail. Each document has an embossed crush uh, seal uh, on it. It has a wax seal on it. It has a notarized signature by uh, a, a registered or recognized LLB law professional. And it will come with a digital QR code. And that's quite important. So. If you're in a scenario where you're at a customs post, you're at a border control, you're in a court, you're pulled up at the roadside driving your vehicle, if you're in any type of situation where you need to show what you have done to karmically separate yourself from the tyranny that is trying to grind you into the ground with, a, with its jackboot, then what you can do is use their technology against them. So just by showing the QR code on the phone, that document then is automatically scanned and loaded up onto, onto their, um, their tablet or their, their phone or whatever device they're using. And they can then look at that without you having to say things like, well, give me your WhatsApp number and I'll send it to you or give me your email or carrying a, 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 cl a clumsy set of papers around in a file which handing to anybody they're not going to you know they're not going to stand there next to you and read them so just as it is now when you have all the scanning at the airports and at the ports um, and soon to be in the united kingdom and many other countries you will either, either even have to produce a qr code to be allowed into a store to do your shopping um, in many of the places as well in the united kingdom uh, I think it's Tesco in particular, they've got facial recognition cameras while you're actually self-scanning your products. Is that something that you want to continue? So I know people might say, ah, but what's the alternative? They'll do it anyway. The alternative is you have to make a scratch on the record card. You have to stand there when, in preparation for when you eventually go to the next place wherever that is, metaphorically or on the planet. You've got to make sure that you make your voice felt and make your reasons clear to them. Otherwise, if you go along with it, if you acquiesce in it, if you, if you tentatively agree, then that's taken as an acceptance of the conditions that they've employed upon you. So I would say, look to get out of this system now by going to area52.live, don't forget services, then under into divorce and consider the document. The document's there for you to actually read. Um, we will notarize it digitally. We will then, if necessary, give you a copy. 
The fillable PDF will not be available until early 24, but this is a heads up for all the people who are members and for those people who are considering membership, I would suggest you do it and let's get together because together we have a voice, together we have protection and we will give them a 2024 that they will need to remember. So, okay, Merry Christmas once again. I won't be posting, I don't think, uh, until 2024. So um, I, I can't say a happy new year, but let's make it a vigilant one and let's make it a decree absolute to the tyrants, particularly the WHO, the UN, and these other state entities who are trying very, very hard and succeeding to a great point to take control of every single moment and thought and action and your future. Thank you.